welcome back to our another video um on today's video we up north i think it's daventry it's called uh in northampton or something like that i'll put the name somewhere here where exactly we are um for but we are here for a family wedding which is quite exciting because we haven't been to a family wedding or we haven't seen some of our family members in almost like three years now i think the last time we were all together it was for a wedding which was in 2019 um in thailand so it's quite exciting and then obviously COVID happened and you know these things happen and um up until now so it's i'm looking forward to catching up with um some cousins and um you know and just get to hear what everybody you know been up to and how they've taken the whole um covid thing but yeah um we've just checked in not long ago um the drive was quite nice and easy um we stopped once and had lunch um i think it was stroud gloucestershire um where they've got like a farm style um kind of like um relaxing area where you can take the kids and have nice organic food so it was quite nice and then from there we just drove up there wasn't much traffic because we we opted to go through the Coltsworths instead of going through like the m5 and you know uh yeah so yeah it's exciting so sam and the kids have just gone for swimming which gives me about 45 minutes to an hour to just be able to collect my thoughts and be on my own i'm gonna read a book i was gonna try and have a nap because i'm tired um i was working yesterday so i am really really tired um but i've decided if i sleep it's gonna make me feel worse and i might not sleep uh properly tonight and the wedding is tomorrow i don't want to be tired so i'm gonna try and wing this and stay until we go to dinner we're gonna have an early dinner i believe around seven maybe and then we can rest properly so i'm going to make a hot drink now and then from there um read a book that i've brought with me i've actually brought my kindle and as i've said sam has gone swimming with the kids and but before i actually stop this vlog here because it'll be a continuous vlog throughout the day uh, i'm gonna quickly do a room tour um we're staying in a golf sparkle um, golf course uh, uh, place which is like a spa um it's quite big um but the place is okay it's it's you know it's like any standard sort of like um kind of like three four star places that i've stayed in um the only thing i'll say the place is looking a little bit tired to my taste um it's it's not old fashioned it's done nicely but there are a few things like touch up on the walls you can see the walls have been you know they've got marks which really all you need is a fresh paint um to freshen up the room um the decor is quite modern uh combination of at the front they've got a bit of industrial um sort of like um areas or inspiration mixed with very modern chic kind of like uh place yeah um, yeah, so let's quickly do a room tour. Let me show you guys um, quickly what the room looks like. You're going to have to excuse the mess because we've been here not even an hour and it looks like a bomb shell. That's what happens when you travel with two kids. And we only booked this room um, yesterday I because my husband forgot to book and we knew about this wedding a long time ago. We knew we were going to be staying here because it's not far from where the wedding is going to be um and also it caters for kids and everything so we thought why not um you know so yeah let's quickly go ahead and i will show you what the look the room looks like right this is the entryway as you come in um the door over here we've got some wardrobes let's see what's inside i don't think there's much anyway uh you've got your ironing stuff there they dark wardrobes yeah really a space um to hang your clothes if you need to hang and i think the side is the uh just shelves safe head dryer and i've got two of my bags there and here you've got the chair which is they've put it besides the mirror which i'm sure it goes probably somewhere there because obviously we've got two beds as you can see for the kids um it's more like a a 
double room which can work as a family room i suppose um, as you come in on the side on your right it's a bathroom which for me it looks a little bit dated but as long as it can do the job i suppose it's a um, shower over bath um, really this is what i was talking about where maintenance of the place is really important sometimes these companies they forget to actually keep the place updated carpet is really old school old-fashioned pattern carpet which if not hoovered properly it can be um a bit you know as you come over the room is quite big it's quite generous and you've got the i believe this is a king size bed or a super double something like that and over there in the corner um it's the corner sofa i believe and you've got a desk there um you know obviously if you're traveling on business you can do whatever you need to do and i believe these are joining doors maybe to another room i'm not sure so we've got two kiddies baddies um one for kenzo the side and one for maya the side and then if you walk over we've got a little sort of like balcon i'm not gonna open the door because obviously um obviously phew, got few people walking there and i don't want anybody sort of like thinking what the hell yeah so you've got a, a little sitting area outside here if you're a smoker i've seen some cigarettes butts there which my question is why are they not cleaned let me, let me show you guys what i mean i'm very picky i'm really really picky but you know beggars can't be choosers um look can you see there's not even a container for people to put their cigarette butts and for me as a non-smoker that pisses me off um in terms of the maintenance guys look at this I, i'm not trying to be funny but things like this you can't really have especially if you're paying more than 100 pounds a night um these are the marks i'm on about on the walls and you've got some across there on top um the desk is big enough obviously the cups are cute and you've got your coffee make making um station there and a little i'm thinking either you will have this little table maybe over here with that orange chair and yeah i think the telly is sort of like boxed in there yeah it's it's it it would do for the one uh for the two nights that we are here um yeah that's the overview of the room guys yeah so i'm gonna make myself a hot drink now and change probably into my pajamas and jump into bed and read a book and because i am really tired you can't even see it in my eyes my god i look so aged um, and then I'll pick up this camera probably later on when we're going for dinner. Thank you. Literally, one table of six. I suppose we could have had a few at the bar if we had to. Oh, yeah, 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 we could have. They have a bar. But it's nice to have a buffet because you have a little bit of everything. Right, the other food. Dinner was nice. I'm just cutting Maya's toenails now because she's going to be wearing sandals tomorrow at the wedding. So we want the nails to look pretty, you know. How was your dinner, Maya? Good. Yeah, what did you have for dinner? Um, there's pasta and meatballs and oranges. How much for dessert? I had chocolate cake and jelly for yeah, dessert. I, I you had jelly? Or was it panna Look, Daddy, it's just stuff. That's the first time I've had for two years. And Daddy said, Daddy said that he's feeling pregnant. Is that? Because of all the food he's, he's had. Is it baby boy, brother or baby sister? A baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> and then Maya said, only oh, mummies can have babies. You're right, my name. Daddy feels Correct. pregnant. Correct. Daddy needs Dad, to know Daddy biology. Feels, Daddy feels pregnant, but he's not pregnant. One more minute, okay? Just be careful you don't walk this way with your underwear because I'm recording. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Go. You can't be showing people your bum bum. Okay. Are you making tea? Yeah, I got boiled breakfast. What they've got? English breakfast tea, green tea, cranberry, raspberry, oil grey. Um, can I try the. What's that orange one? What is it? Is it ginger? English breakfast tea. 
Move over, crazy, na. He want a million of people to see his bum bum. Can't be like that, na. Cheeky daddy, isn't it? Yeah. He's coming back. Yeah, is that the cranberry one? The thing with herbal teas, they smell amazing, but they taste no nothing. Oh my goodness. Nice, eh? Yeah. It smells lovely, but it tastes nothing. Can you brush your teeth? Kenzo, you brush your teeth? Yeah. Kenzo, go with me. Come on, Kenzo, you. Come on, you. Come on, I'm so glad I brought the little teeth. I thought we might need it for these two. Tomorrow, I'm going to sort your hair out. I'm going to put your hair up, okay? It's a lovely dress you're wearing for the woman. Right, finish. I've just finished cutting um, Maya's nails. I'm so glad I brought the nail clipper with me. So, are you okay? Yeah. You're going to come and say goodnight to everyone? Um. Want to say goodnight? Say goodnight to everyone. Say night night. Good night. Yeah, he's tired. Look at Kenza. Yeah, give me a kiss. You want to give me a kiss? Yeah. Night night. Yeah, so dinner was nice. Dinner was really, really nice. Um, it was so much better than our last hotel. Um, and I'm going to have a cup of tea now. And then... It'd be early bird, no, early to bed. To bed. Oh, I'm still no, tired. I'm really tired. Good morning, guys. Um, I've just finished having breakfast, so I left everyone at breakfast. Because I am so stuffed and I need to get ready for the wedding today. It's the day of the wedding. And I'm so glad the sun is coming out because my dress, its it's got such a huge open back. And I was worried that I might get cold. But all is well. The sun is out. I slept really well last night. The bed wasn't too bad. So I um, only woke up about half hour ago. And I literally... Um, jumped out of my pyjamas and went to have breakfast because everybody else was up and ready because they've gone swimming this morning. So um, use the sauna. I was just sleeping because I was tired. So I'm going to have a quick cup of uh, green tea now. I feel so bloated. Um, I suppose I'm due for my periods any day now. And I just hope it's not going to look terrible on the dress or people are going to think I'm pregnant or something. But my belly does look huge. Um, so we shall see what we do about that. Um, I'm not doing no sit-ups, not going to help or anything like that. Girls know the situation with that kind of a thing, how you sort of like bloat when the time of the month is coming. But it is what it is. Anyway, um... I'm going to quickly jump in the shower now and then I need to sort out Maya's hair. Not that I know much about hair, but yeah, it needs to look a little bit presentable. We don't normally do anything to it. Um, grandma normally brushes. She prefers grandma to do her hair because apparently I pull her hair. So, but I will try and put it up in a bun, at least out of her face and just make it look a little bit tidy um, than what it normally usually is. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm going to quickly get ready and get on with the day. We are at the wedding ceremony. Uh, 
and um, tea ceremony is taking place now, so we thought we'd just chill out to it. It's mainly for the elderly generation that really, um, hi, that really um, participate in the tea ceremony and obviously those who are curious about it. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to wait um, here. There's more people that are going to work. I think it's about half 11 now in the morning and everyone will be in for one o'clock. So yeah. back home we literally just got back about an hour ago and i have quickly done a bit of cleaning it wasn't a major cleaning just really hoovering opening windows and bits and bobs um now i've popped out to tesco's to get some fresh flowers for the house and um or grapes for kenzo because he wanted grapes we had no grapes in the house and then I actually got, let's see, something delivered while I was away. Uh, it was actually delivered today. So I've tried to going to the collection center. I don't know if it was the right place because everything looks shut, but hey, no, I'm going to call them anyway when I get home. I've got a parcel that I need to pick up. Um, yeah. Anyway, as I've said, we are back. I'm actually today feeling better than the day that we left i know my eyes look tired it's just a lack of sleep but in terms of how i feel like body wise um i'm not as tired as like on monday which is good um i didn't drink much at the wedding i probably could count the number of alcohol that i had with my hand um I had a bit of pins and i stuck with wine um throughout the meals and a little bit and then the dancing i did dance quite enjoyed it up until about i think we went back to the hotel or we left the wedding at about nine because the kids were really tired i could see that they didn't want to go because you know for more fear of missing out uh, they've been very excited about this wedding and it's been a while since they've been to a family gathering event so they didn't want to go but it was past their bedtime and I could just see they were just tired. So I said to Sam, let's get them back to the hotel, which was a wise move. Um, yeah, and we woke up this morning. We all went for breakfast and we went back to the room, packed and we drove back. We left the hotel at 11 o'clock. It was their checkout time as well. And the roads were quite clear. Um, going back to the wedding, guys, I had so much fun was quite nice catching up with everybody else um i didn't record a lot of the wedding because they did ask that we don't really record a lot so it was more like the after the ceremony and just bits and bobs plus i i really wanted to enjoy so i didn't want to be taking you know footage of a wedding or anything like that I, I wanted to enjoy time seeing family and catching up and not you know being stuck with having to record so that was a wise move um yeah so that's what you've seen is what really happened it, it was really a nice relaxing um sort of like little break i'll call it a little break and to catch up with the family and now i know the rest of the gang we are planning another get together because we were like why are we only catching up if it's family weddings like i've said to you guys earlier our last catch up was in 2019 at another family wedding so we might be doing something um next year just as a whole group i think we thought about netherlands so it'll be exciting um if that could come through so 
yeah i thought let me you know quickly pick up the camera and finish off this vlog properly since last night and early this morning i didn't get a chance um yeah so if you've liked the vlog the vlog uh give us a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends and their grandmother to subscribe because i am trying to get to 500 guys youtube is i mean i do youtube for fun but you do want the numbers so i'm really trying i'm more or less like to the road to 500 subscribers okay so help the sister out and obviously if you've got any comment or any questions about anything do shoot me a dm on my instagram at nontoli or leave the comment on this video or any other video of mine either than that i'm gonna see you guys on my next video which is next week.